Hey everyone, this is Richard Taylor from Final Cut Pro TV. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over my go-to audio plugin in Final Cut Pro, Channel EQ. It's a plugin that I use on almost every audio clip. This plugin is actually from Apple's Pro Audio Software Logic Pro. One of the main tools a video editor has at their disposal when dealing with audio is EQ. EQ is short for equalizer. An equalizer adjusts or equalizes the frequencies in audio by boosting or cutting the ones that you want to adjust either to fix a problem or to enhance. A typical EQ like this one in Final Cut Pro is divided into octaves. An octave is basically the doubling of a frequency. So in this basic EQ control, we start at 32 Hz, then 64, then 128, up to 16 kHz. But as video editors and not audio engineers, how do we relate these frequencies to what is contained in actual audio? For example, what are the frequencies of the human voice? Something we encounter all the time. It would be nice if we could see frequencies in Final Cut Pro. As a matter of fact, we can see frequencies in Final Cut Pro. Select a clip in the timeline. Open the Effects Browser by clicking the icon or the keyboard shortcut Command-5. Scroll down to the Audio Effects and in the Search field, type Channel to bring up the Channel EQ. Double-click the Channel EQ effect to apply it to the selected timeline clip, or you can just drag it on top of it. Open the Inspector if it's not already open. Go to the Audio tab and double-click on the Channel EQ user interface icon. This EQ's octaves starts at 20 Hz and goes up to 20,000. We drag up on the dB, you'll see the corresponding booster cut in the graph. If we want to widen or narrow the frequencies included in the cut or boost, we adjust that in the Q. To enter a precise number, click the text field and enter the number directly. You can also just grab the graph up and down for cut and boost. You can grab the little Q icon to narrow or widen. You can grab it in the center, drag it left and right to adjust the frequency higher or lower. You can adjust the EQ while your video is playing in the timeline. Radio 500 hogs. And right now we're moving them into Fredericksburg. My buddy, one of my students, a buddy of mine lives in Fredericksburg, and you're only allowed to have two hives per house. Really? So he's got his neighbors. We're getting all the neighbors in his development to get beehives. Reset the EQ by choosing the reset parameter in the inspector. I use this channel EQ even if I'm not going to EQ the audio clip. And here's why. If you click the Analyzer button, you can actually see the representative frequencies as you play the clip. As you can see in the audio spectrograph, the human voice is concentrated from around 200 Hz up to about 2 kHz. Typically, you will see a slant in the EQ graph from left to right, low to high. That is normal. The extreme left and right buttons are shelving EQ. The left one, if engaged, will cut frequencies below the setting, and the right one will cut all frequencies above its setting. You can click on the pre-EQ button to see the audio before any EQ adjustments. Set it to post-EQ to see representation after EQ adjustments. You also have a master gain control for setting volume to compensate for any major frequency cutting. So there you have it, watching audio frequencies in Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching Final Cut Pro TV.